After Donald Trump ripped CNN for reporting on an ex-British spy's unsubstantiated dossier and refused to recognize Jim Acosta, the CNN correspondent sharply criticized the president-elect's team. There's something worse uh, than fake news, and that's the uh, denial of real news. This has been a, a pattern for the Trump campaign and now the Trump transition where, you know, they, they don't like the news that's being reported and they go after the messenger. Joining us now from New York is Joe Concha, media reporter for The Hill. Joe, what do you make of the way CNN and Jim Acosta are pushing back? You heard him say denial of real news. Well, I first want to talk about Jim Acosta's behavior during that press conference, Howie. Yeah. I want to know why Jim Acosta felt that he was entitled more privilege than the other 250 reporters that were in that room by repeatedly yelling no more than 14 times at a president-elect demanding that he be afforded the right to ask a question. I found that to be grandstanding. And oh, by the way, another point that John Roberts brought up on this network and no one else has talked about. CNN that morning around 545 reserved eight seats for themselves in the front row by putting reserve signs down there, effectively boxing out other news organizations that wanted that kind of access. So CNN's behavior here, I have to say, has been, in Jim Acosta's case, making about himself, making himself the story, and CNN, eight reservations, Howie? That's just obnoxious. Yeah, everybody tries to grab seats. So look, it was just four years ago eight. that much of the media were denouncing <laughs> Neil Monroe, then a